Hello, dear students. This is again Teacher Marlene to discuss about solving quadratic equations and rational algebraic equations. Our objective is indicated in the most essential learning competency number 5, which is to solve equations transformable to quadratic equations and included the rational algebraic equations. Let us start the discussion with the equation 6 over x plus x minus 3 over 4 is equal to 2. First, we have to look at the denominators and find the least common multiple or the LCM. This is the lowest number that can be divided by x and 4. So we have to multiply every term of our equation with 4x. In detailed form, it will be 4x times 6 over x plus 4x times x minus 3 over 4 is equal to 2 times 4x. Let us simplify by doing cancellation of what is common in the numerator and denominator like x over an x and 4 over 4. Now simplified into 4 times 6 plus x times x minus 3 is equal to 2 times 4x. 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Then by distributive property, x times x is equal to x squared and x times negative 3 is equal to negative 3x. Then the right side, 2 times 4x is 8x. By applying addition property of equality, we will have x squared minus 3x minus 8x plus 24. Let us combine similar terms. So the result will be x squared, then combining negative 3x minus 8x will give us negative 11x. Let us copy 24 equals 0. You can now solve this using any solutions that we have discussed. But let us choose the shortcut method. Think of two numbers. The sum is 11 and the product is 24. Are you ready? So the value of x can be 8 or 3. Now let us see example number 2. Solve the equation x plus 8 over x minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. Looking at the denominators, they both have x minus 2. So it is our LCM. Again, let us multiply every term with the LCM. Then let us write in detailed form. So x minus 2 times x plus the second term x minus 2 times 8 over an x minus 2 is equal to 1 times the LCM x minus 2 is equal to the LCM x minus 2 times the second term 4x over x minus 2. Observe that we can cancel x minus 2 over x minus 2 because the value is 1. Same with x minus 2 over x minus 2 because it is also equal to 1. Let us simplify by distributive property. So x times x is equal to x squared. Then negative 2 times x equals negative 2x plus 1 times 8 equals 8. is equal to 
1 times x minus 2 is equal to x minus 2 itself. Plus, 1 times 4x is 4x. Let us combine similar terms and write the result in standard form. So, negative 2x plus negative 5x is equal to negative 7x. And 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. So, x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. You can now solve it using any solutions that we have discussed. But let us use the sum and product. So, think of two numbers. The sum is 7 and the product is 10. Now, the possible answers are 5 and 2. But, if 2 is substituted in the equation, the denominator becomes 0. So, 2 is rejected or not accepted value for x. So, the only value for x is 5. Take a look at example 3. Solve the equation 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 3 is equal to 1 half. Looking at denominators, we have x, x plus 3, and 2. So our LCM is 2x times x plus 3. Let us multiply every term with the LCM. So the result is 2x times x plus 3 times 1 over x plus the LCM 2x times x plus 3 times 1 over x plus 3 is equal to 1 half times the LCM 2x times x plus 3. Again, let us cancel every factors from the numerator and denominator. So, x over x x plus 3 over x plus 3 and 2 over 2 because they're all equal to 1. This can be simplified as 2 times x plus 3 plus 2x times 1 is equal to 1 times x times x plus 3. 2 times x plus 3 is 2x plus 6. 2x times 1 is 2x. x times x plus 3 is x squared plus 3x. Let us simplify and write in standard form. So it will be x squared plus 3x minus 4x minus 6 equals 0. And its standard form is x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Now, using the idea of sum and product, think of two numbers. The sum is 1 and the product is negative 6. Now, the possible values of x will be 3 or negative 2. Remember in solving rational equation, the value of the denominator cannot be equal to zero because it will become undefined. Now let me share this quotation from Albert Ellis that rational beliefs bring us closer to getting good results in the real world. So always be rational. God bless everyone!